Welcome to the Sidra Intersection tutorial series. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use the Movement Definitions Input Dialog to set up vehicle movement classes and origin to destination movements. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to tap the bell to receive notifications about our new videos. If you have suggestions for content, please leave us a message in the YouTube comment box. Now let's begin. We'll use a project file with roundabout, sign control, and signals side examples already configured. Save the project as site input 2L. We'll start with the roundabout example. Select the roundabout site in the project pane. Right-click or press F2 to rename the site as Roundabout 2L and then save the project. Click Layout to view the layout picture of the site that was configured in the intersection dialog. Click Movement Definitions in the Site Input section of the project pane to open the dialog. It's important to modify this dialog immediately after the intersection dialog and before the lane geometry dialog, as data given in this dialog determines the structure of movement data in all other dialogs. Six standard movement classes and six user-defined movement classes are available as seen under the Movement Classes tab of the dialog. Click the View Display button to open the default display. If you click the down arrow, you can access the layout display and no display options. Blue text in the top left corner of the Movement IDs display indicates that direct data entry is allowed in this display. Use the View Display drop-down list to close the display. The two movement classes, light vehicles and heavy vehicles, are always included. For other classes, you can check the box next to the movement class to include that class. Please refer to the user guide for the definition of the movement classes in Sidra Intersection 8. Let's check the box next to Buses in the table with the heading Select to Include Standard to include this class. Let's also add Taxis as a user-defined movement class. To include this class, check the box next to User Class 1 in the table with the heading Select to Include User. In the next two columns, specify the Movement Class name as Taxis and the Movement Class ID as TX. These movement classes will appear in various input dialogs. Each additional movement class must be allocated to at least one lane in the Lane Geometry dialog. This and other aspects of Lane Discipline specifications are demonstrated in the Lane Geometry tutorial. Now, click the Origin Destination OD Movements tab. The Approach selector in this tab displays the intersection configuration as set previously in the intersection dialog. All possible OD movements at this intersection are shown in this dialog. The OD movements that exist are the ones with checked boxes. Let's select the west leg and add a U-turn movement by checking the Movement Exists box in the U-turn movement column. This new movement will be added to the Movement IDs display picture on the right. You can modify the Movement IDs in the layout picture or under each movement in the table on the left. If you introduce OD movements, you need to allocate them by movement class to individual lanes in the Lane Geometry dialog. This is why the layout picture does not show the U-turn movement on the West approach yet. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. 
Movement IDs display by movement class can be obtained using the movement IDs command in the data summary group of the ribbon under the site tab. Save the project. Close the displays. Select the Sign Control Site in the Project pane. Right-click or press F2 to rename the site as Sign Control 2L and then save the project. Click Layout to view the layout picture of the site that was configured in the Intersection dialog. Click Movement Definitions in the Site Input section of the Project pane to open the dialog. As an example, let's include the Large Trucks Movement class in this site. This new class must be allocated to at least one lane in the Lane Geometry dialog. Let's leave the OD Movement definitions unchanged for this site. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Save the project. Close the layout display. Now let's select the Signals site in the Project pane. Click Layout to view the layout picture of the site that was configured in the Intersection dialog. Right-click or press F2 to rename the site as Signals 2L and then save the project. Click Movement Definitions in the Site Input section of the Project pane to open the dialog. Check the box next to Buses in the table to include this class. Click the View Display button to view the Movement IDs picture. Click the Origin Destination Movements tab and introduce a right turn ban on the south leg by clicking the arrow labeled R2 or unchecking the box under it directly. When you remove or add OD movements and movement classes in this dialog, you need to use the Lane Disciplines tab in the Lane Geometry dialog to specify necessary changes. Click OK to accept the changes and close the dialog. Save the project. This concludes our tutorial on the Movement Definitions Input dialog in Sidra Intersection 8. We will continue with the configuration of intersection geometry of these three sites in the three-part Lane Geometry Dialog tutorials. Thank you for watching.